Hello, Fraser here. I'm demonstrating my game Escape that I created for CS48 uh, for Winter 2017. It's an e OpenGL game that uh, I created for the Fountain Project here. Um, basically, it's an Escape the Room game. Uh, to get out, you have to find a series of buttons that open the door and allow you to escape. Um, to actually get through the game, you have to use some graphical objectives. Um, so if you've taken graphics in the past or you're familiar with it, you'll get uh, a sense of that while playing it here. So this is the main menu. Um, you can see controls and play. Controls just gives you a basic breakdown of the movement and um, interaction buttons and that sort of thing. So you've got your move, uh, run, interact, crouch, and escape there. So we'll go back and we'll hit play. Um, that brings you to the character select screen. This is sort of an inside joke for graphics people. It's a little corny, but if you're familiar with um, some of the, these are some of the big names in graphics. This guy here is sort of the uh, the father of modern computer graphics. Lassiter's from uh, from Pixar and Blin, uh, a really another really big guy in uh, computer science graphics. We'll go with, we'll go with Blin here. And this is just a little uh, description. So your goal is to escape, use your knowledge of graphics to do so, good luck. So uh, we'll hop into the game then here. Um, so yeah, so here we are. So we're trying to get outside. Um, you can see the, the trees and the fence, but we can't get there because we're blocked off by this, uh, this gate. And here's a button here, it looks like it might let us out. Except when we press it, nothing happens. Uh, we see three red dots here, which indicates that there's no power. You can also see that on the UI in the bottom left there. There are three power buttons that are currently unpowered. Uh, so we got to find a way to get out here. Um, looking around the room, we see there's some, some buttons, there's some graphics and that sort of thing put around the room. There's this uh, pile of boxes here with a teapot on it. Um, over here is my desk. I put this in uh, to the game. It doesn't actually add anything to uh, any objectives, but it's just sort of a fun little shows my objective list and the course website, so that sort of thing. A lot of little inside jokes that I put into the game. We have an elevator here. Uh, over here, some rotating cubes with some uh, normal maps on it to give it a bit of depth there. You can kind of see that there. Here's the computer graphics pipeline, of course. Uh, so let's start with this challenge over here, maybe. So I added a hint for every single challenge. So this one says your primary goal is to escape. Um, and when you, you see there's a bunch of buttons here. And when you walk over here, there's some panels with some objects inside of them here. Um, they're, they're, this, is, uh, this challenge is supposed to demonstrate transparency. And so you can kind of see that here as you can look through the panels here. We've also got some... Um, some bars at the back here. So the idea behind this channel is you, or this this uh, challenge is you want to align the panels uh, properly to match up with the uh, the bars at the back there. So if we hit one of these buttons here, it turns green, and we move the corresponding panel over here. Uh, so I've got a little red X on the floor here, if you can see that. So if you stand on this guy here and look, and you should try to align the panels properly with what you see in the back. So this one obviously doesn't align. It looks like it's a little bit off. So we'll turn this button back off. And let's turn on perhaps this red guy here and see how that looks instead. So if we come back to here, we see, oh, that red one lines up very nicely with that guy in the back right there. So red looks good. Um, and then you can fiddle around with the other options here, but I'll spoil it for you. Uh, so the, the hint here was primary, so you're going to hit the red, um, the green, and the blue buttons, RGB primary colors here. And when we come back over, we stand on this little guy here, we see everything lines up now. And also the little red box that was here, that was blocking the buttons, now gone, so we can click this button. And now one of the, uh, the power buttons has been uh, illuminated, so we've got power, as you can see here to one part of the door. We still need two more to go to be able to get out as this still doesn't work for us. Uh, so at this point, if you're stuck, you can press H and this will give you a little hint from the professor here. Try finding the power buttons to energize the door, uh, security panel and escape. So it's just like a fun little guy. This is the actual prof from the course. Uh, he liked that. So this is the second channel or the second challenge. Uh, to leave, you must first enter. And this one um, is sort of like an inside joke for the CS lab people. So uh, you'll maybe get that afterwards. Uh, and it uses normal mapping as uh, the challenge here. So if we, the idea is uh, you have to look at the, uh, the textures here. And as the light goes by, the normal map gives it sort of a 3D appearance. 
and we've hidden or I've hidden certain clues into the the normal maps. So if I turn the normal maps off, the clues are completely invisible, and you need to have it on to actually to actually see it. So I don't know if you saw it there. There's a little two in the corner here as the light moves back and forth across it. You'll see it here again in a moment. Right here. So you see the two. Right there, so there's a two on that one. This one has a four hidden down here. So the light moves across. This one's got a one hidden right there. This one also has a one hidden in it. Let's see if we can see it when it comes back. Oh, it's right here. And this last guy here is the hardest one, but it's actually got a three hidden right in here. Right in the top left, you can see that there. So these indicate the order in which you have to press the buttons to get out. So we'll hit these guys here. These were one. Uh, two was here. Three was here. And four was here. So we've got all the buttons lit up. We come over to execute. And boom, now we've got two power buttons activated. And so the clue with this is you have to do four plus five and the second one here, and then the, the first one, and then the third one. And that, that's uh, 45213 is the code to get into the computer lab uh, for the graphics course, which is why we have to leave you must first enter. Uh, so, last challenge. We don't really see any other stuff down here, any other buttons around. So we'll take the elevator and go up to the top floor here. So the elevator actually moves. I'm on a panel that's moving up. And we've got the nice skybox here. Now that we're on the roof, you can see that. Uh, you've got the, the glass. You can see down into the other challenges and that sort of thing. And we've got this cube here, Reflect on the Unseen. So the idea behind this one is we're going to use this reflection mapping, um, which reflects the skybox around it, to reflect the bottom part of the skybox we can't see for an extra hint. Um, so if we come back over here, this is showing the water sort of uh, to the side and below us. And if we crouch down and move in, we see there's a texture hidden in there. And that is uh, similar to something we've seen before. So this one's got a little X in the top left, if you see that right there. So we'll head back down now that we have this information. So we're moving down again here. Back down to the main floor and pops this out and so we notice it looks like something from one of these boxes so if we move around we look, we're looking for one with an X on it and uh, if you move around enough you'll eventually figure out that you can actually come in and squeeze in between in the, the side here between the wall and the boxes and if you're careful you notice this one has an X so we'll crouch down and we'll interact with it and it disappears and reveals the last button that we need to press so pressing that lights up the last power button, and now if we look over at the door, we have all three lit up. So if we press the button here, the bars go up and we get an achievement. That's got sort of a little goose on it that's a Waterloo joke. And we now have no collision here, so we can come back outside. And we've got these nice trees and this fence uh, to come to the end of the game, and which you just call an Uber, I guess. You press that, and that's the final screen, so you've escaped. So that was my game, my final project for uh, CS488. I hope you liked it. Thank you.